Hello everybody, this is Janice, and I am so sorry that I have been MIA for quite a few days. I have missed doing videos for you guys. I've been really busy. Um, a lot of stuff going on. Good stuff. All good stuff. Just homeschooling stuff, um, camp, getting camp ready, getting ready for a meeting for camp, um, just everything. And just life in general. Um, all good stuff. Like I said, nothing bad, just good good stuff happening. So anyway, I have a birthday party tomorrow. My son has a birthday party. And um, our little buddy Jacob is uh, having a birthday party. And he, of course, wanted me to make him a Star Wars card. Well, Probocraft hasn't given us a Star Wars cartridge yet. So I said, how about a robot? <laughs> So here is my robot. Isn't he adorable? So a um, couple weekends from this, from Saturday, he has another little um, friend who's having a birthday party. And so we need to make him a card. So I'm going to make the same card that I made for Jacob for um, our buddy Tyler. So let's get started. And hopefully I have everything within reach. I always think I do, and then the video gets long because I'm searching for stuff. And I apologize for when my videos get long because I'm not prepared. So I've tried to prepare as much as I could. Um, we're going to take a base. Our base of our card is a 11 by <clears throat> 4 and a quarter inch piece of cardstock. And this happens to be just Georgia Pacific. I have paper tray ink, but this is what I just happened to grab. I'm trying to do everything quickly these days. And then um, we're just going to fold it. I scored it there at five and a half. And now you've got your traditional A2 size card that fits in an invitation size envelope. And then <clears throat> I'm going to use a piece of the green paper from the Lumiere cardstock from Michael's Recollections. I actually got it on clearance, so I don't know if they're not going to be carrying it anymore. I'm not sure why they do that. Sometimes they put stuff on clearance. I don't know why. I just, I don't get it. That's okay. I don't ask questions. I just take the clearance item and go happily on my way. Okay, and then this piece of paper, um, so this one right here, this layer is four inches by five and a quarter, and then this one is um, three and three quarter, no, I cannot think, I am kind of tired, three and a half, it's three and a half by four and three quarter. That's what it is. It's three and a half by four and three quarter. Okay, and so those are good, good layers. Um, this paper, I think, was a really long time ago. I got this at Target. It's one of those dollar store. I'm sorry, dollar bin paper packs. But I've had it for a long, 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 long time. It's just lasted me, and I love this pattern. The colors. Green is my favorite color, and combined with blue is just magnificent. So all I did was ink the little white edges there with chip sapphire. It just kind of gives it a, a finished look. And I kind of wanted to put another white around that, but I decided to just go simple. Sometimes that's best. And I have this happy birthday, which is a old set. Again, I think it's, it might be a Hero Art old one. I've had it for a long time. And I'm going to take my um, anti-static bag and I'm just going to rub this entire area because I'm going to heat emboss. So we're going to take our first mark ink, ink up our happy birthday. And I'm just going to get a little, this just kind of helps to get a really good impression. Okay. 
I love that sound. <laughs> and then I've got the silver embossing powder. <clears throat> I wanted to do silver because the robot has silver pieces. So I thought that would be appropriate. And, and I'm just going to um, kind of flick the back because even though I used that embossing buddy, it's still with the silver, it just seems to stick. It's even on my, under my fingernails. Okay, remove that. I don't want to heat up that foam mat. It will melt. And get my tweezers. I'm just going to heat this up. This is the Heat It tool. This is not a blow dryer. This is the Heat It tool from Ranger. It's a heat embossing tool. This is a really old one. It's probably louder than most. The Heat It tool is known for being really, really quiet. I got this one from my neighbor who had it for probably six years and she didn't want it. And then I'm heating here on my tonic glass mat which happens to be heat resistant. It's tempered, it's made of tempered glass. Okay, and so there we go. And I'm going to heat the back just to help with the warping. And there we go. Simple as that. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and add this layer here. I have a stamp set. This is how I know that I have way too many stamps and I really need to stop seriously for real because I have a stamp set, or a, yeah, a stamp set that says one of the stamp sen stamp sentiments says, "Have bots of fun," and I cannot remember where that is. Now, if you have it and you know what set it's included in, could you tell me so that I can figure out where it is because I can't find it? And I really, that's what I wanted to put here. I wanted to say happy birthday and then have bots of fun. So I could still probably find it and do it. I still have time. Okay, we're going to set this aside. And what I did on mine, if you didn't know this, is I did add some faux stitching around on the white. But I probably won't do that because that's boring to watch. And as you know, I don't edit because I don't have time for that. So I'm sorry. All right, now let's get to the nitty gritty. I cut my little robot from the robot's cartridge and he is robot number, let's see. He looks, he's a juggling robot. And, hmm. Where is it? I'm sorry, I can't find it. My eyes are so tired. I think it was in this row somewhere. Oh, there he is. He is number, what is that? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Robot number 17. He's so cute. So we're going to do some stamping on him. My son said that he wanted the robot to be a Lego robot, okay? So, um, yeah, I said, uh, oh, I st he stumped me there for a second. I said, okay, um, probably not going to be a robot. It's just going to be, I mean, it's probably not going to be Lego. It's just going to be regular. And then it occurred to me. I love it. I love it when I get challenged and then my brain think of, thinks of a cool idea. Here's what I did. Um, and you know what? I think I'm going to just do this in two parts. That way it's easier to upload. So come back and see how I um, finish up the card.